everyone welcome to the tech world in this video i'm gonna show you how to do installation of the rel7 on a vmware machine so the first thing that you have to do is to download the vmware software and install that on your pc so you can download that from the official website of the vmware and uh, apart from that there are also some torrents available so second step is to download the image file of rel7 so you can simply download it from the official website of red hat okay for that you have to create a account there so that they will allow you to download that okay so after installing the vmware as a, actually i have already installed the vmware in my machine okay so i will open that the first thing that you have to do is create a new virtual machine okay so just click on that and uh, go with the custom layout click on next next Okay, so here you have to define the path of ISO file of rel7 okay next and here it will ask for the OS type and just select the Linux as uh, my VMware is the old version so there is not any option of uh, the rel7 so I simply select the Red Hat Linux click on next next and here it will ask for the codes or processors that uh, you want to give to your machine so actually it depends on the configuration of your uh, laptop or um, PC as uh, my laptop is i3 so it has uh, four logical processors and I give it one processor okay it's enough for that version and click on the next and after that it will ask for the RAM as my system has 6 GB of RAM so I give it 2 GB and it is quite enough for that and after that uh, it will ask for the network go with the default click on next next and uh, there is option to select the hard disk and uh, you can create a new virtual hard disk you can use uh, already existed and there is also option of uh, the physical disk so then go with creating a new hard disk click on next and uh, choose the IDE type click on next okay so uh, 25 GB is quite enough to do installation and select uh, 25 GB size and uh, here is option to choose uh, in, uh, how you want to save that uh, as a single file or multiple files well in my opinion single file is a uh, good uh, as in future you will be creating some backups of uh, the VMware's, uh, VMware machines so it will be easy for you if you have used a single file so click on next next okay so it's uh, the configuration of our machine hard disk is 25 gb and ram is 2 gb so finish and start the machine so here we go okay so i will maximize it and after booting there will be three options okay the first uh, will be to do installation second is to test the media and uh, then do the installation third one is for the troubleshooting i will go with the first option okay so click enter and uh, well there are some changes in comparison of the l6 it's not too different in comparison of the l6 and here it is loading the driver and rel7 has great features like it has a xfs by default so, uh, starting and uh, here we go the first window uh, here we have to select the language i will go with the default language united states english okay click on the continue and uh, here you can select the date and time and time zone of your country keyboard layout language support installation source as we have selected the image file and uh, software installation type so if you will select the minimal install which is by default then it will only install the command line interface then there will be not any graphical user interface so if you need graphical then you have to select that option it is the server with GUI means the server with graphical user interface okay so here is to 
uh, select the hard disk so that is the hard disk that we have created and uh, if you are not concerned about the partitioning then you can um, go with the, the automatically configuration partition you must go with that if you are not concerned about that okay so i will go with the, the configuring manually okay as uh, i will also tell you how to do partition so it is the type lvm and uh, standard partition lvm is great as it has uh, good features if you are going to create a server as uh, there you, you can create backups uh, journals and many more features uh, so it's another concept i will explain that another time okay so basically i go with the standard partition click on the plus sign and here you have to select the mount point so first uh, partition that we will create is the slash it is same as the c drive in windows okay so i will give it uh, 15 gb it's quite enough add mount point and the second part is that i want to create is the slash boot so it uh, uh, so i'm be it's quite enough and the third part is to create swap here it is and uh, always give these swaps space uh, twice of the ram so as uh, in my case my uh, virtual machine's ram is 2 gb so i will give it 4 gb twice of the ram okay add mount point so here click on the done as we have created three parties in slash boot okay swap and slash so accept changes and uh, now click on the begin installation okay so in the next window you have to give password to the root root is same as the administrator in windows and you have also to create a new user to complete the installation process so here i give the password to the root which is the administrator okay done and create a user i will create it by the name of Fred Hat, okay, and uh, give it a password. Click on done, and now the installation process has started and it's checking for the packages. So I skip that installation process and I will directly open the window that comes after the installation process. So it is the window after the installation process done and it's asking us uh, to do the reboot okay so i will do the reboot reboot uh, that license screen has come and we have uh, to accept license just click on that and uh, click tick on i accept and uh, then click on the done on the left corner okay so here you have to finish configuration okay now our operating system is loading okay so it will take some time okay here the kdump screen has come and here uh, you have to define the memory for the kernel crash if uh, there is any kernel crash happens in the future so it helps uh, us okay so you have to just click on the automatic and you have to just go with the default you do not have to uh, do any changes here so just click on the forward so here the login screen pops up and uh, it's showing our user red hat and you can log in through the red hat user just click on that and uh, type the password and click on the sign in so if you want to log in through the root user so it's not showing our root user you have to click on not listed and here you have to manually type the name of a user root and click on the sign in and it's asking for the password just type the password and click on the sign in so now our system is logging through the root user okay so root is the main user it uh, works as the administrator so you can perform all the important tasks and uh, create the servers with the root user so you can also create some other users like uh, red hat and then you can restrict, restrict their users so here you can see that uh, root user has logged and uh, 
So there was all about uh, the installation of rail 7 in a VMware machine. So uh, if you like that video and if you need uh, more videos like that then please like and subscribe my channel and uh, thanks for watching thank you very much